A few weeks ago, I shot my first Mahi Mahi. <laughs> Having said that, it was also the tiniest Mahi Mahi I've ever seen in my life by far. The plan that day was to go out hunting on these things called fads. Or as we call them here in Bali, room ponds. Room ponds are basically just bamboo rafts floating in the middle of the ocean attached to an anchor down at the bottom of the ocean. Tiny fish find the room ponds and use them as shelter and big fish visit those rum ponds to hunt the tiny fish, and humans visit the rum ponds to hunt those big fish. When we first arrived, we shot some smaller fish like golden trevally, rainbow runners, and triple tails. to say that when I pulled the trigger, I thought this fish was way bigger than it actually was. I was really surprised to see how small it was. And apparently that's a common thing and there's a name for it. It's called blue water syndrome. <laughs> Had I known how small this fish really was, I probably still would have shot it. There weren't any other bigger fish around, I really liked the taste of mahi-mahi, and my goal was to find fish to eat. Before you judge me for murdering a baby fish, there are a few things I'd like to first point out. I eat veal. Veal is obviously baby cow and people like to eat it because the meat is more tender or something like that. But baby cows are way smarter, way cuter, and probably way more conscious than baby fish. And most veal comes from a whole giant animal abuse system, which is the commercial meat market. On veal farms. which, in my opinion, is a lot less ethical. And that's to say nothing of hot dogs, chicken, or any of the other mystery meat sold around the world in grocery stores and restaurants. Also, sushi. I love sushi. I eat sushi at restaurants 
all the time. But no customer at a sushi restaurant has any idea how old those fish were when they were caught. And no customer at a sushi restaurant knows if those fish were killed quickly and ethically and humanely, or if they were left to suffocate on the deck of a giant ship. And patrons of sushi restaurants also have no idea how many other fish, dolphins, whales, or turtles were caught up in those giant nets dragged by commercial fishing boats and killed for no reason other than that people thousands of miles away want to be able to buy all-you-can-eat sushi for $20. Which brings me to my next point. This fish was caught locally, just a couple of miles away from my house. And it's a sustainable fish to eat because mahi grow really quickly and have relatively short lifespans. Although not usually as short as this little guy. Also, smaller fish have lower mercury levels, so it's actually healthier to eat. Okay, having said all that, I did shoot and kill a baby fish, and that is kind of fucked up. Later that evening, when I got home, I filleted the fish, and there was actually a lot more meat on it than I thought there would be. We poured lemon juice, onion, and tomato on the fish meat, and let it sit in the fridge for about one hour for ceviche. In ceviche, the citrus from the lemon juice sort of cooks the fish meat without heat. I don't really know what happens, but the flesh turns from pink to white and it tastes amazing. We ate the fish with tortilla chips and it was delicious and healthy. Okay, that's it. First thing tomorrow, I'm going back out there to try and shoot an even smaller fish.